Hello everyone, I'm ExtraKeezy87 and this is Let's Play Danganronpa 3 Killing Harmony. So it's been a few months since we last left off with our Danganronpa journey. Had to take a bit of a tolerance break after doing Danganronpa 3 Ultra Despair Girls in the anime all within pretty quick succession, but I am ready to return and get started on a B3, which I've also heard is very long, so we're in it for the long ride, but I'm excited to be back uh, doing some more visual novel action on the channel. Let's go ahead and jump in. Now, I haven't seen any, um, uh, what? We don't, I don't have any demo version data. Uh, we, you know, I'm, I'm an English boy at heart, so, you know... Uh, so we do have some options. I couldn't see the options on the on the start. I wouldn't mind turning the volume up a little bit because it is a little quiet. Just a, just a little bit. That's pretty good. Uh, it's already kind of fast though, by default. Maybe, well, use that like sound effects to be a little bit quieter. We'll do, do max voice. Almost max volume there. This all, this all seems fun. Uh, we will, uh, well, you know, what? make that slightly faster. All right, let's go. New, new game. Uh, you know what? Let's let's do it. Double mean from the start. Why not? What's the worst that could happen, right? Because uh, previously we've always done mean logic, but action we only bumped up to part and at the end of Danganronpa 2. Okay, we got seen some familiar stuff here. So like, I don't really know what relation this has to the original run of games, if any, right? Like, I mean, I know it's apparently like, I, I mean, my understanding is that it's not really connected per se. I, I don't really know though. And uh, I'm looking forward to finding out. I seen it. We, we've seen it. Let's not talk about the anime. Let's let's just. Mm, well, you know, I have honestly like you know since the month since I finished watching the anime, I've actually soured even more on it. I still think Future Arc is pretty good. Despair. Oh god, I'm not not a fan of Despair at all. Story's not over. Oh boy, now that's exciting. Yep. <laughs> kind of weird. There's no music there, or sound effects, or nothing. There we go. Got, got a little bit of a little bit of a whoosh noise for the other logo. Nothing. No light. No sound. No form, no voice, no knowledge of who I am. Who am I? Who am I? I extend a hand, a hand that belongs to no one. Take hold of my existence. Hello. This is me. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. Okay, Kaede Akamatsu. Like that in the old noggin. I promise I won't instantly forget how to say it. Um, actually, I don't promise. I promise that I will instantly forget. Kaede, okay. You know, we can maybe remember that. I just remembered who I am. Nice to meet me. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. It's still honestly pretty quiet. Which is weird, because like in the past Danganronpa games, it's been like extremely loud. And you have to like turn things. Actually, no, 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 no. I think it actually has always been kind of quiet. But I can bump it up in the in editing later, so it shouldn't be that quiet on the video. Hopefully, it's just gonna be a little quiet for me. But I can turn my own volume up some. I stumbled out of a locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. Okay. I couldn't even brace for an impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. Uh, but thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed, annoyed real quick. Huh? 
Wait, where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a bump. I looked around. A classroom? Yeah, this is a classroom, all right, but I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? It seems way too inviting to be a public school. Uh, uh this is just a dream, right? I just have to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek. But all I do is make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um. Okay, um, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think through this. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. No matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't. Bam! <laughs> ah. Suddenly, the locker next to mine started uh, swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened, and... A boy came stumbling out. <laughs> a normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he may be a high school student, too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head... He screamed as if he'd just seen a monster, fell on his butt, and scooted back. I mean, he kind of looks like, I mean, I don't know if it's just because of the art style, but he kind of looks a little like Nagisa, right? I can't believe I remember his name. I'm usually so bad at remembering names, but... Uh, who are you guys? Are you with those other guys? Huh? What other guys? And then also, main character lady kind of looks like Sonya. Is that her name from Dying and Rapid 2? I don't know, it could just be because the art styles are, you know, obviously pretty similar because of the same series, but... The people who kidnapped me! Um, kidnapped? Wait! What, where, where am I? What are you gonna do to me? Hey! Uh, ho hold on! I firmly gripped his shoulders. You know? W what's your name? Huh? Uh, name? Uh, uh... Please say it out loud for me. Suichi Saihara? Yeah. I'm, uh, Keide Akamut Akamatsu. Now listen to me, Suichi. Got it? Shut up! You're not the only one who's confused right now! Huh? Uh, sorry. After making him shut up, I retraced my steps again. And she's in control. That's right. I was kidnapped too! Uh... I was walking my usual route to school when all of a sudden someone shoved me into a car. I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. Everyone pretended like nothing happened. It made me think how rotten the world is. Well, yeah, I can understand that. And then, I lost consciousness. That's right. And when I woke up, I was inside that locker. Huh? Same with me. Were we kidnapped by the same people? Uh, it seems like it. Geez. But why me? My family's not rich, and I'm no one special. I'm just a normal high school girl. Uh, doubt. There's no reason to kidnap me. Uh, okay. Me either. I'm just a regular guy. A kind of weird looking hat. I'm not Sherlock Holmes. What? So this is a school, right? Why did they take us to a school? Um, I wonder why. Well, it's because every anime media must have a school and or a mech or both. Those are the two rules. I don't make them. I just abide by them. Hey there. I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, uh, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give a basic explanation about the controls. Use the left stick to control the reticle. When you have a target in your sights, press the A button. The right stick controls your view. You can press the RB button to smack objects around. Wait, what? Who knows? You might find something amazing. You can always press the LB button to return objects to their original position, so relax. However, not every object can be mo moved. Thank you for understanding. If you press the Y button, a mysterious investigative power will activate. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information. But if you forget anything, you can press the Start button to review the controls. Investigate this place thoroughly. That's how you progress the story, you know? Okay, uh, can I smack you? Okay, won't well, let me smack him. Oh. Uh. You're all, you're all toasted. We've got a lot of rage to work off from being, uh, attacked. Kidnapped? That's a blackboard, right? Every classroom has one, but this one's, uh, well, you know, it's not black. This blackboard is also an LCD screen. That's something you don't see every day. Okay. How's the, how's the door looking? Where am I? Why was I kidnapped? Who kidnapped me? I don't understand this at all. But that doesn't matter, at least not for now. Let's get out of here as fast as we can and find some help. 
Okay. Yeah, good, uh, good idea. We ran as fast as we could to the classroom door and opened it with all our strength. But then... It exploded. <laughs> Monka? See, there... Yeah! There's your mech. All right, time to school and mech. Uh, almost ten minutes, less than ten minutes. What? The, the monster? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is bad. We need to get out of here. Maybe it's a friendly death robot. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait! Oh my God. Um, uh, over here. Uh, I can't move. There we go. Running, running, running. Left bumper. Okay. Left bumper's kind of. We're, we're running. Okay, maybe we should have investigated the. Mm, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Ah, there's another one. All right. We're still running. Uh, don't go that way. Over here. Why do you know where to go? Just, uh, you know, just a casual walk. No rush, just a leisurely walk down the abandoned, creepy school. Ah, uh, jeez. What are those things? Don't, it, you don't let them see your fear. As long as you can't see them, they can't hurt you. Everyone knows this. Everyone, is it, can I investigate that? No, I thought that was a locker. Anything in here? Nope. As we frantically dove towards the door, we saw something we never expected to see. Oh, more people have arrived. There's a lot of people, dude. Huh? Did you all get chased by that monster too? No, uh, we were chasing it. Uh, oh, yeah. What are they? What do they want with us? Only one dude practicing proper mask etiquette? Shameful. Do you want me to check on what's happening? You can't! It's too dangerous out there! It's likely that monster still lurks nearby. <laughs> Wait! I shout at the top of my lungs. Who are you guys? And why am I here? Is that really the top of your lungs? You need to work on your lung capacity, girly. And that makes 16. Is it 16? It feels like it's like 80. What? I'm talking about us. There are 16 of us, all high schoolers. Now, are we all high schoolers? Because, um, looking around, I see a few people that I'm going to have to hit you with a f little debate over whether or not they're high schoolers. What do you think that means? 16 high schoolers? Oh. All right. Didn't answer your question. My name is Rantaro Amon. Rantaro Amani. Rantaro Amani. Amani. Okay, Amani's pretty straightforward. I'm sorry, but let's uh leave it at that for now. What? Uh, okay. You know. Anyway, why does it matter if there's 16 of us? There might be more coming. Nah, I think this is all of us. If this is what I think it is. Anyway. What? If this is what you think it is. Hey! What are you some kind of fucking know it all? If you know something, spit it out. I mean, she's got a point. It was at that moment an unknown voice suddenly echoed throughout the gym. Okey Is it dokey. unknown? Okay, quiet, everyone. Shimmy down, shimmy down. Uh, oh. Shimmy, shimmy, ya. Uh, no, no, it's simmer down. What? what? Who's there? Where are they? Oh my God! It's the Power Rangers. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us. Serious? Damn it, there are more monsters. We're surrounded. Ah. These aren't monsters, they're exiles. And that's that. They're highly mobile bipedal weapon platforms. Huh? It's like Metal Gear, but not. Don't sue us. Weapons? Hell yeah! Should have taken these for a spin by killing one of them. Ah, uh, wait a minute. That uh, wouldn't be funny picking on plain good for nothing commoners. <laughs> oh, you're right. We should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you till your guts come out gushing out like toothpaste. Wait! Uh, not like toothpaste. How uh, I can't imagine it. I can't handle gore. Well? well? Then what if we start peeling off their limbs one by one like string cheese? <laughs> not like string cheese either. Ah. Wait, we can't kill them with the exiles. According to the schedule, the exiles aren't supposed to show up until later. What are you saying? But we're in the exiles right now. 
Oh, so we are. Oh, we screwed up. We're not supposed to be in the Exiles for our first appearance. I told you we should have read the script. What are you saying? No, you didn't. Well, check the script and see if I was supposed to say it or not. Well, uh, why don't we just get out of these mechs? It shouldn't be too late for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let, let's do that. So. Okay, ready? Did I'm already mind flooded? Mo Mona, Mona Suke? Uh, Mona Phoenix? Ah, the names are too fast. They actually are the Power Rangers? What the? I mean, I really shouldn't be surprised by anything anymore, but... Huh? Ooh. Big vibe energy here. See, we're out of the Exiles. No, we're not here anymore, right? Right? His desperation is strangely terrifying. You punk guys have better brace yourselves. And he's just outright terrifying. I'm a messenger from the hell, the depths of hell, and I'm here to drag you down to hell. No, no, Mono Kid, you're saying hell too much. It's ruining the hellish impact. What, what's hellish mean? What's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? I have no idea. Moving stuffed animals? Yeah. <clears throat> Sir, are you in the right game? On top of that, it seems like they're calling themselves the Mono Cubs. Moving stuffed animals? Mono Cubs? Huh? Wait, you guys call yourself the Mono Cubs? Yo. <laughs> I will admit the music is a little mind flooding while trying to read. Uh, don't ask it. Don't bother asking Monadam. He only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have really done a number on his heart. In the right, Monadam. But Monadam, you only open your heart to me. Looks like I was right. This is exactly what I thought it was. Dude, it's so, like, the voices are still super quiet. Who's behind all this? Why the ridiculous theatrics? Shut up! Ah, shut up! Why are you reacting way too normally for this? It's boring! Actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring, too? Wait a minute, you think maybe they haven't been given their first memory yet? Huh? Uh, that should have happened before they woke up. Answer my questions! If you guys are the Monocubs, then... Who the hell are you punks? Huh? Boy... What do you mean? We're just wondering, do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? Ultimate talents? I don't have one. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call it an ultimate talent. Um, me either. I don't have anything like that. Y yeah, yeah, same here. I know it. They haven't got their first memory yet. Um, Monofanny, weren't you in charge of that? She's gone. She's sleeping. Did you guys... Did she really seem that tired to you guys? You stupid. She's obviously faking it. Even if she's faking, she looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. No, as you say so. Um. Yeah, anyway, if you guys are the Mono Cubs, then... Don't worry about us. The real issue is to use bastards. Well, the issue is putting it mildly. This is actually a huge problem. You have all forgotten your talents and become generic high school students. Huh? For forgotten? According to the backstory, there's the ultimate hunt going on. One. You've all lost your memories and become de different people because of the ultimate hunt. Two. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh well. Well, in your current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this. The first thing you need to do is remember your true selves. Right. Yeah, you need to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. What, what the? Are you awake already? Why? I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? Oh. How are you just talking to keep asking so many freaking questions? Yeah, we're not some swift-footed singer who's landed another future ex-boyfriend. What in the hell is going on? Oh well. Let's do this already. Nobody wants to watch a bunch of generic high school whiners. That's right. First, we'll update your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spiffy. Okay, close beam. <clears throat> oh no. Um. It's a magical girl transformation? Damn, okay, I'm guessing it's music related? I mean, she actually looks more generic. Well, I guess you got the, the music stuff on there. 
Uh, why is one dude a robot assassin? What the? What am I wearing? Oh, looking good, Nate. You look more like Ultimates. Huh? Uh, Ultimates? Really? Also, he looks the same. So. Next up, the memory you guys have all been waiting for. Hell yeah! Get ready. Once the deal is over, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. K killing game? All right. Now then, after the flashback, like helps you remember your amazing talents. This amazing story will begin for real this time. What? Oh god, we've been flashed. Okay. Oh, they're hitting us with a script. Okay, piano. She's a piano girl. I saw that. Yeah, let's let's save. Um, maybe the most uh random save pop up I've ever seen. Ultimate revival. Um. Huh? Yeah, I'm getting a little deja vu here. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. I couldn't even brace for impact as building blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. Thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I rub my throbbing forehead. Yeah, this is definitely gonna leave a bump. I looked around. A classroom. Yeah, this is a classroom, all right, but I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a dream, right? Ah, I pinched myself. Oh, it hurt, made my head hurt. Um. As yeah, so, I mean, if, until the dialogue's new, I don't see any point in rereading it again. Not how hard I tried in the end, I just couldn't. Bam! Ah! <laughs> A boy came stumbling out. A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might have been a high school student. He looked bewildered. This is uh, definitely the weirdest opening of the series, which is uh, saying something. Don't freak me out like I'm some sort of. Don't freak out on me like I'm some sort of monster. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry too. Okay, I just have no idea what's going on. Yeah. But all the more reason why we need to stay calm. Oh, uh, Jimopedia number one by Eric Sata. Uh, yeah. Right. Try to imagine that sorrowful melody, melody filling your heart and soothing your head. What? I read him wrong? Head, then heart? Rise and shine, or shine. Am I in, like... Rise and shine or shine. I feel like I'm high. Rise and shine, or, or shine? <laughs> ah, a teddy bear? Oh, it's a monster, you can forget about this. I don't think she was talking to you. Not so mean. You humans are the real monsters for calling us monsters. Although, if we are monsters, at least we're pretty monsters. Are you, though? Are you? Okay. I agree. I'm glad I was born with these looks. I definitely won the genetic lottery. Huh? What, what are they? Why are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? Hey. We're not. We're not monocubs. We're the stuffed animals. Hey. Uh, Monokid, you're saying the line's backwards. Hey. Ah, no stuffed animals. Us, the monocubs, them. Yeah, it's even worse now. Uh, Monocubs? You've heard of us? Oh, of course not! I've never seen walking, talking stuffed animals! As soon as I said that, these Monocub things started looking at each other and... Yay! It worked! Who had us worried there for a second? Uh, worried about what? I don't understand what's going on. Okay. No one does. Alright, let's tackle each issue one at a time! You're so damn reliable, Monotaro! He's like a sixth grade helping out a fifth grader. Hey. That means we should keep our expectations reasonable. Um, well, what's your question? I've got a load of questions. Uh, where are we? This looks like a school. Okay, this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted, gifted Juveniles. Um, Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles? The UAG Day for short? Hmm. Ultimate Academy? I've never heard of a school like that. That's right. Of course you haven't. This school was made for you, 16 Credence. Huh? 16? That's right. Well, shouldn't you... Uh, I would object more to being called a Cretan. Yeah, there are 16 Ultimates at this school. Huh? Ultimates? Well, you know what Ultimates are, right? Uh, government scouts them through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. 
Ultimate basically means you're particularly pro uh, prodigious at a particular talent. <gasps> basically, the ultimate initiative exists to cultivate talent throughout the country. Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts. Like uh, free school tuition, voting privileges, el eligibility to run for elective office. They even get grant money too, right? That's right. Students chosen by the Ultimate Initiative are known as Ultimates. Yeah. Students will do anything if the honor being chosen being a chosen Ultimate. I don't need the explanation. I already know because uh, I'm an Ultimate too. Are you though? Are you? That means you got to remember this time. You don't, so don't forget anymore. You know, forgetting about your Ultimate talent is such a waste. What do you mean forgetting? Put your yapping in. Let's get started already. It started with what? Why well, exploring the academy, of course. Well, also, you should introduce yourself to the other ultimates. Because you guys are going to do an activity together later. <laughs> Don't ever say that to me again. I got an awesome rager right now. Well then. So long. Farewell. Shoot. Uh, they left, but I still have so many questions. Hey. This isn't a dream, right? No, but I wish it was. Anyway, we gotta find a way out of here. But they said there are 16 Ultimate students here. Does that mean he's one too? Hello, what's up? What's your name again, Suichi? Hey. Are you an Ultimate student too? Uh, okay. Yeah, well, then... Shuichi Saihara. Suichi Saihara. He is Sherlock Holmes. I recognize that hat anywhere. What? You're a detective. Now the song is saying you're a liar, so um, maybe you're maybe you're not telling the truth. That's amazing. No. Uh, no, I don't have the credential to call myself a detective yet. Also, can I? Is there a way to access the config? No. Maybe not yet. I'm hitting all the buttons. Nothing's happening. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh yeah. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you. Okay, he's the ultimate pianist? Ultimate pianist? Yeah. Well, no one calls the ultimate pianist. Usually just piano freak. It's a lot easier to say. Oh my god, that is cursed. Oh my god, that is the most terrifying thing. That's even scarier than smiling Togami. There were even times I played the piano so much that I would forget to eat sleep. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. That's how you got your ultimate title? And that's way more impressive than me. No, that's all I'm good for, really. <sighs> this is my first time meeting another ultimate student. Well, ultimates are scattered all over the country. They're difficult to find. Even so, there are 16 ultimate students gathered here now. But why is everyone here? Were we kidnapped? Hmm. If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the Ultimates? Hey. Uh, about that. I don't remember. Huh? You don't remember? Uh, I've been trying to remember it, but I can't, no matter how hard I try. I got no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got there. It's like that memory just fell out of my head. Uh. Same here. Huh? huh? You know? I can't remember anything. Even though I'm trying so hard to remember. Uh, please, my brain. Ah. What happened? Are you okay? What's wrong? No. Uh, just a glitch in the matrix. Nothing. I'm fine. I just got a headache. That's all. But uh, it can't be a coincidence that we both don't remember what happened to us. Um, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. What? We're confused. We just need to relax. Is all. Let's imagine Maurice Ravel's. Uh, you know I can't say any of these freaking words, dude. Sonnet. Sonatine. That's. Is that music? I don't really know much about music. I see. I see, that's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. All right. But first, let's look for a way out. If there are other ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least one of them has got under something. Right. Yeah, good idea. We obtained a friendship fragment. You can leave the room by pressing the B button or interacting with the door. You're all getting blasted. We woke up inside these lockers, but why were we in these lockers in the first place? That's a blackboard, right? Got an LCD screen. Anything else to interact with? 
Doesn't look like it. Okay, take me out. You'd like to leave? Absolutely. Okay, nifty transition, a little long. Even though it's a hallway, there's sure are a lot of plants going around here. The air here is heavy. Impressively heavy, as if forcing you to recall your fears, smothering you in anxiety. But this is just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? All of them? Have you ever been to school? Huh? What's the matter? Uh, um, I just uh, felt something in the pocket of my uniform when I looked. Remember. I found this inside. Is this some kind of mini tablet computer? Uh, oh, I, maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack felt heavier. Um, the word monopad is written on it. When did this get in my backpack? My name was displayed when it booted up like a student handbook. I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. Let's just hold on to him for now. Yeah. Congratulations, you can now use the monopad. Press the X button to open the monopad. It's got tons of game information in it. Stuff like the report card and map. Be sure to check it out. And if you've got a sharp eye, you may have already noticed by getting closer to your fellow students, your report card will be updated with content. Since you are now acquaintances with Mr. Sayahara, his info has already been added. I bet you could also notice that you can level up by performing actions. When you level up your skill slots increase, you can equip even more skills. There are a lot of tots of skills, so view them in the report card. If you want skills, make friends, strengthen your bonds. Be sure to test out all the skills. Also, there's one more important thing to tell you. You can save and load the game from the handbook. Make sure you save all the important stuff. Well then, off you go, find your classmates. No. Okay, um, so options. The audio is like kind of, so I think we can lower background music some. Voices are still just super quiet. Like even at max. So I think we lower background music a little bit, then I can bump up overall game audio. So that should make voice volume seem louder than it is. So maybe for this first video, voice volume is going to be a little messed up, but hopefully we can fix it. Um, going forward which also uh, should mention this first video is going to be a bit shorter going forward um videos will be closer to an hour you know or so like at least an hour long but i always like to make the first part of each series a little bit shorter just because um so that it's more accessible for for new people since most of uh you know the first video is the one that most people are going to watch well i think we're also since this first video is going to be a bit shorter we will probably go ahead and actually upload part two on the same day that this one goes up, like right after. So uh, look forward to that later today. And I think that means we're going to stop here. Next time, we will uh, try and find all our classmates. I'm Extra Cheesy 87 Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.